Northern Illinois. Northern Illinois here. is the next team up. That works out well. Hey, now. Thomas like, like Hammond. that. I have talked for two years about how they made a disastrous coaching hire. And holy hell was I proven correct last year with an 0-6 record. They hit rock bottom. Now, their win total this year uh, works right alongside that. It's three and a half. To go over is minus 160. To go under is plus 130. Their SP Plus projected record, 4-8. and eight. Their FPI projected record is 5-7. and seven. And looking at the schedule... I do not see four wins on it because I know the coaching staff. Um, They brought in quarterback Rocky Lombardi from Michigan State, but the rest of the offense, though experienced, is not great. We always talk about how sometimes returning experience is not always a good thing. That's right. Um, Northern Illinois, by the way, uh, the least experienced team coming back out of the entire division. So that's that's certainly not good. Yep. Um, but then you bring in Rocky Lombardi, and you're thinking, all right, well, we got a power five quarterback that actually started at Michigan State and whatnot, but he kind of got run out of town. So does that make you better or, or worse? Uh, I, I'm going to harp on this. Thomas Hammock was a bad hire, uh, had basically no college experience. He had no coordinator experience. He had been a running backs coach forever. They brought him in because their guys kept getting hired away. They wanted somebody that was going to stay long term. The issue yeah. is, if you get somebody who sucks, then of course they're going to stay nobody, as long as you let them hire. Them. Yeah, so long as you let them keep the job, then yeah, they'll stay around forever. Uh, I don't think he knew what he was doing. Like, don't get me wrong; I'm sure he was a great running back, uh, running back coach, but he's in love with the school. You brought in somebody that didn't know what they were doing, and that is an issue. So Northern Illinois, who was just in a BCS bowl like six, seven years ago, whatever it was. Against Florida State, like, now this is what it's turned into. You know, they just won the MAC like three years ago. I cannot find his contract. It's uh, it, it's not it's not big. It's not big. Well, it can't all. be big, but no. I can't find it. The fact that it's That's like pretty crazy. scrub the internet for it. <laughs> anyway, neither here nor there. I'm uh, going under. We're going under. Half at, we're going plus, under, right? Plus 130. They're, they're not allowed to talk about this team. They're not good at football. Yeah, pretty much. They're going under. Yeah. Plus, plus 130 to go under, though. Uh, Yeah, plus it seems like... They've got Maine. Vegas is trying to beg you to take them. Are, are they gonna? Are they better than Maine? Yeah, they'll beat Maine. Okay. Like, they'll beat Maine, but uh, where are they going to find three more? At oh, Toledo. Now, Bowling Green, they can beat Bowling Green. Well, yeah, but th- when they play Bowling Green, that might be the only conference yeah. game they're going to win. Maybe so. Here's their conference game. So, they've got Georgia Tech, Wyoming, and Michigan, right? Yeah. That's three losses. Uh, then in your conference, Eastern Michigan at Toledo. Now you got Bowling Green, but at Central Michigan, at Kent State, Ball State. I mean, if Buffalo, Buffalo is a complete disaster, but we don't maybe. think they're going to be that bad, right? If Buffalo is a complete disaster, I still think that only gets them to three. Well, tr- true. That's best case scenario. Is Buffalo is a complete shit show. Yes, but uh, we don't. With a leader in quarterback, I don't think they're going to be that bad. I don't think so either. I'm with you. I can't. I can't understand this number, and I can't understand the juice. I feel like I'm falling into a trap. I'm just going to jump into the trap. No, the, the issue is like Northern Illinois. Everybody still remembers they just won the MAC a few years ago. They were. Man, it wasn't that, that long was, ago uh, that they were. That's so. You, it's crazy. That's right? so short sighted. Oh, it's very much so. But remember, this team did not win a game last last year. year. Yeah, I mean, they're just bananas. The offense, not good. Even with Rocky Lombardi, who really wasn't good at Michigan State, ugh, just ridiculous. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.